Hey everyone, I'm Grant and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on prepping and painting the half door cards for my Impact Orange half doors that I got from my TJ Wrangler. So I'm going to get to work. The first thing I did last night was take the two door panels outside and I cleaned them with my electric power washer on its lowest setting so I wouldn't damage any of the door panels. I then let them dry overnight so there are no chemicals on this and it is currently clean. Yes, they still look dirty, but these are scuff marks and just wear and tear from years of use. So next, after we hang up the door cards, we're going to spray them with this adhesion promoter from Rust-Oleum. Now that has to dry for a certain amount of time. Once it cures, we'll then start spraying light layers of this fabric and vinyl paint also from Rust-Oleum. Now the reason why you want to use this adhesion promoter is it really allows the paint to bond to the interior door panels. So with all that said, I'm going to go get these strung up so we can get started. According to the instructions on the can, we're going to put a couple of light coats, minimum two, but I'm going to try to get about three coats. And once that dries for no more than 10 minutes, we're going to start spraying the tan fabric and vinyl paint onto the door cards. According to that, that's how you get the best adhesion. looking for this earlier. This makes every job easier. So much easier. All right, I'm gonna let that settle for about 10 minutes, and then we're gonna start putting on the first layer of paint. Alright everyone, I was able to actually paint both door cards with one can of adhesion promoter and one can of this fabric and final paint from Rust-Oleum. Now, I'm going to let this dry and see how it does. It still might need a couple of more coats, so if you're interested in doing this, I would honestly recommend at least getting one can of the adhesion promoter and at least two cans of the fabric and vinyl paint. So, now, we're going to wait a day and see how it comes out tomorrow. See you soon. It's the next day, 
and the door panels appear to be completely dry. I've actually not removed them yet, but I am very happy with how they came out. Now, you can tell where I had it against my garage door. I did miss a couple of places here, but honestly, I'm not too concerned about that. That's going to get faded with time anyway, and I can always touch these up in the future if I feel the need for it. But I am very happy with how these came out. I think these are going to match my interior very well. So now we are going to switch over to my TJ Wrangler and get to installing these on my half doors. Now, unfortunately, when I bought the half doors, as I said in the video where I showed this, there was a little bit of confusion with getting the door panels and everything. So when I got these doors, they had already been disassembled. So I am going to reinstall the handle, but I don't have the screws for them. I'm going to have to get those screws later and just gently pull on the door for the time being. The nice thing is because they are half doors, I can just grab it up here to shut it. All right, I'm gonna to have to go look at some pictures of TJ half doors. This is actually the first set I've ever owned. And I have a hole here that looks like it's supposed to line up with something, same over here. And I also realized I have a screw that's supposed to go there and then two on the bottom. And again, I don't have any of that hardware, so I'm gonna to have to figure that out real quick. But overall, those look really good. And they appear to match my interior as well, which I am super thrilled about. So, with that said, I'm going to move on to the other side and install the door panels on the other side. Or actually, no, I'm going to go figure out the hardware I need for this door. Then I'll go do the other side. I'll be back. All right, everyone, I've actually ordered a couple of parts. I realized on the other door panel, a couple of these clips are broken, like that one right there, so it would rattle and not hold in place. So that's all I'm going to do for this video. Once I get all those new pieces of hardware and fasteners in, we'll finish installing the door panels. But yeah, on some other quick news, other parts I've been waiting for are finally almost done, so I should be having them here very soon. So hopefully we'll be getting my TJ Wrangler back on the road here in the next couple of weeks. But anyway, it's YouTube. You know what to do. Take out more than you bring, tread lightly, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.